after they proved the algorithm on the Tesla, they moved it up to EC2, and it ran on a cluster of servers. I want to say it was, it was either 7 or 17. I get my numbers mixed up. But it ran on a cluster of servers for 20 days straight and uh, did 61 trillion data comparisons. And now we have this system on MailChimp that's constantly running 24-7. Uh, I just really infuriated a customer in Greece uh, on a Sunday at 3 a.m. Omnivore shut him down. It detected a list that he had for 10 years or so, and he started a new company and was going to send email using that old list. And Omnivore detected the old list and blocked him. And it was, that was while I was sleeping. And that was the whole point of this. In the last seven months after going freemium, Omnivore has sent 35,000 warnings to people. 4,200 accounts have been suspended, and it's shut down almost 1,200 people automatically. And this is the key slide here about, you know, just think about abuse. Because if we hadn't done Omnivore, if we just went freemium without thinking about this, to send this many warnings and deal with 1,200 account shutdowns 24-7, I know we would have taken at least 30 human beings to do this. We're a 38-person company. If we had to add 30 people in seven months to deal with this, it would have changed the culture way too fast. I mean, the biggest department in our company would be in charge of shutting people down, and that's it's not a good business, I don't think. So it, you just have to think about it. And this is sort of our little way of dealing with abuse, and I know abuse is sort of a negative thing, but what's really cool is good stuff can come out of abuse as well, if you think about it with sort of a creative and entrepreneurial spirit. Um, Omnivore, in the background, is learning so much about campaigns, it's able to predict open rates and click rates before you hit the send button now, using past data. So this is a campaign that I actually sent last week to 29,000 recipients, and you can see Omnivore is predicting an open rate between 20 and 40%, and the actual is in parentheses, 39.5. And it's, it's falling within the zones pretty well. And um, the more data that it gets, the better and better Omnivore gets at predicting. So what we have here is uh, a really cool feature that came out of dealing with abuse, you know? Uh, sort of the, the circle of life here. What we have is a cool feature, maybe even a whole new product, or maybe even a whole new startup company that just came from dealing with something that could have killed our company. So if you think about it, um, Omnivore itself could be abused as well, which is scary if it fell into the wrong hands. Uh, but it's early. We'll cross that bridge whenever we get there. <laughs> Hope you found that useful. <laughs> Any questions or anything? No? Just want food? Made it easier for me. Ah. Um, so did essentially this, uh, using the data to drive the detection, was that a core competency of your company, you think, that you just leveraged because the data-driven analysis was basically part of the email marketing business? Or was this data analysis a separate discipline? We do spend a lot of our time playing with data. It's just fascinating because we have so much of it. And we got our company to a point where we kind of had the luxury to sort of play with the, the meta of the company, you know? Um, so it, but it, I think that this came out of just our genuine curiosity and tinkering. I, I tend to just try to give the nerds as many toys as they can, as I can, you know? So kind of accidental. Yes. You know, one of the value add propositions of all these uh, sort of email marketing clients is the sort of list clarifying capability, or the you know you can you can understand even before someone does a campaign whether the addresses are good addresses and and so forth. Are you are you offering a service you know where you actually help people build robust lists? Um. The question is, you know, are we offering a service where we're helping them sort of clean their list? Yeah, clean maybe? their list or? Uh, no, it's kind of the ironic thing. We, we know that you need to clean your list, uh, but if you use our servers to clean your list, you're 
tainting our servers if there are a lot of old lists on there. But yes, in a way, Omnivore, since it's scanning so many lists, we can sort of tell from history, from other lists, whether or not you have old members on there. Got it. And typically what it will do is just sort of flag you and suspend you, and a human being will have to reach out to you. Thank you very much.